Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $3.49 for Lightfish. Lightfish normally retails for $4.99, a meager 10% savings, but I like my pennies, and I will keep them in my pocket. Thank you very much. So, what is Lightfish? Well, it's an interesting little game from Eclipse Games. Eclipse Games is a Spanish game developer, and I mean they are based in Spain, um, not they develop Spanish games, um, though they might. Um, although, actually, the only game to their credit so far is a game called Toy Cars, which is, uh, it really, really reminds me of the old Micro Machines game from, I believe, the NES. Uh, it is a overhead view racer, and it's based uh, on toy cars, so it's all sorts of uh, tabletops and kitchen counters and, you know, etc, etc. Um, it is an interesting little game. It uses a pay-what-you-want model if you buy it from their website. You can pick it up for two bucks on Desura and some other digital distribution sites. So check that out. Eclipse Games. Lightfish is an interesting little puzzler. Uh, it is a... Uh, it, it's a little bit reminis uh, reminiscent of the game Fortix or Fortix 2, if you've played those with, with an X on the end. Um, if you've played those where you, you cordon off areas, and that's how you kill enemies. Um, so you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, you'll notice the A and the B. This game is calling out for a controller. I initially played it with a controller. It works great with a controller. Uh, but I also tried it with the uh, keyboard. No problems at all with the keyboard. There is no mouse support in this game to speak of, but none is needed for the game itself. The menus are just navigated with the up and down arrows. So we'll go ahead into the adventure game. You'll see that I've uh, I've unlocked... Um, I've, I've not unlocked anything yet. I have played a bit in the initial chapter. As you can see, all but the last two missions. We will start at the beginning just to give you a... Uh, well, a good starting point, as that name is, that level is named Starting Point. So here we go. So it's a pretty simple concept. The basic idea is you are a light fish, and you want to devour these enemies, these starfish, and uh, you do that by cordoning off areas, like so. If you do that and the enemy is inside, you kill the enemy. Pretty simple. Well, it gets a little complicated because the enemy cannot hit your little tail that you drag behind you. If he does, he kills you. And when you get a nice... Boom, there we go. When you do get a nice um, kill on an enemy, it will spawn in the little power-ups that you saw. I believe I got an extra man there for uh, encompassing that little fish head in a green square. And yeah, this is pretty much what the game has to offer. The enemies grow in number and complexity, and of course they're going to throw in some obstacles. Now, you can start to see in this level how the concept gets a little more difficult, uh, because now I've got a, a long distance to traverse in order to actually make a square. So you can take this sort of a strategy, where you start cordoning off smaller and small, whoa, smaller and smaller areas until you just sort of beat them through attrition. Uh, you just sort of wear them down. Um, you can also try to be predictive like that. And uh, you can grab them. And there we go. You can grab, you know, you can wait. You can poise yourself and you can grab them. And, and uh, the better you do with that sort of stuff, the better you're going to, the better score you're going to get, the more stars you're going to get on each individual level. So uh, I accidentally hit the button to play that level again. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, that's a temporary invulnerability, so I'm just going to take that, because that means that I can fear no starfish, and I shall not. Oh, just missed it. So as you see right there, he nicked my uh, line, and he did, in fact, kill me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and that will finish off the level. So it didn't do quite as well this time. It's enter to the next level, space to try another level. So this level contains one of the little environmental obstacles. That's a reef there in the center, that red area. 
Uh, that area cannot be passed through by the enemies. It cannot be passed through by you. However, you can take the reef by drawing around it. Oh. Yes, indeed. And, and this game, especially when you get a lot of enemies going and you get some of the later enemies which have erratic flight paths, uh, it gets pretty hairy at times. Got extra man there. I'd like that. So I'll take it. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Oh, my goodness. A little biting off more than I can chew here. All right, let's see. Can I trap a star in here? Let's see. There goes one. All right. Ooh, very nice. And, uh, yeah, such is Lightfish. I mean, this is essentially... Ooh, this is essentially what this game is. I mean, as I said, it grows in complexity um, as the enemy types change. Ooh. Okay. Let's take a safer approach, shall we? There you go. Why do all that twisting and turning when you can just draw a straight line across the level? Well, of course you saw. I got only one star. And uh, that's part of the reason. Uh, you do want to take some chances. You do want to try to, to uh, make big grabs and get power-ups. Uh, the more power-ups you get, the more big grabs you get, well, the better. So, uh, very good reason to actually try and get... Oh, I've, I've sort of... I've hemmed myself into a hole here because I can't use that reef as a starting point. So I've got to draw up and then over. Oh, okay. And I've got to draw up. Ugh. Yes, indeed. So let me just go ahead and power through this level uh, because I want you to see some of the other enemies that are available. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Some more of that, and some of that, and some of that, and again, I'm just trying to get as much area as I possibly can right now, so that I can complete this level. There we go, I got one of the starfish. Let's go ahead and get the other one. Oh, I'm not going to do it that way. Let's get the other one this way. Oh, miscalculation. I thought I was just going to barely pass him there. But that didn't happen. Why did I do that? Why would I do that? Horrible, horrible. Um, as you can see, not a whole lot of penalty for failure. Um, just a quick restart. And immediately starting in a poor way here. And uh, like you can see, I mean, you can take some chances. I'd really like to grab that invulnerability right there. But of course, a star follows me down. There we go. I get a little invulnerability, so I have no fear of that star. Unfortunately, that invulnerability does not last very long at all. I kind of got him cordoned off here. I might be able to make something happen if I can grab this power up. I don't know what this is or what it does. Ah, oh, it slows time. Well, fancy. And I wasn't really able to do anything with it. Fantastic. Now, should I take the chance? Do I dare? <laughs> You can see me daring to take the chance right there. Oh, yes. Very nice. Still got not too many stars. Not too happy about that at all. And good lord. I've pressed the space bar once again. Well, let's go back to the menu. I want to show you one of the later levels with some of the more complex enemies. Here we go. Here's one I actually haven't played at all. So let's go for this one. Now you can see the uh, the more circular enemies, the ones that aren't star-shaped. Well, there's only one. Uh, it doesn't bounce in a necessarily predictable pattern. The stars bounce in predictable patterns. Uh, the jellyfish don't. So it's just a, an extra little extra little curveball for you. And uh, we can try to encompass these reefs 
for a nice little bonus, but that is not going to happen. No, it's not. So there are enemies later on that actually go around the outside edge and can hit you while you're sitting out here making your plans. For the most part, uh, I am not having to worry about the enemies that are out there right now. All I've got to do at the moment is just uh, just make my moves. I can kind of just hang out here and the stars can hit me and it really doesn't uh, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect my play. It doesn't do anything to me. I don't have to make any dodges or anything to dodge the stars. Yeah. Not a very uh, risky strategy here. And you can see why. <laughs> I am not necessarily skilled at this sort of game. Oh, too many variations. Too many bouncing... Bouncing stars there. Whoa. Okay. Can I do this? I can. Okay. Can I do this? I can. Can I do this? I don't think I can. Oh, I got it. Personal achieve for that. Oh, and there we go. So yeah, I mean, there's not a lot more to say about this game. I mean, it is Lightfish. That's what it is. Um, it is definitely an intriguing concept. Uh, it's it's a fun little game for certain. Um, I know I sometimes say, I use the term little, and a lot of times little, you know, can be looked at as, as, a, as a negative, but uh, I, I most certainly don't look at it as a negative when I say it's a fun little game. Um, oh, I got zero stars for that one, and I did get achieve Catch and release. I guess that's because I killed no enemies. That's going to be my guess. I killed absolutely no enemies. And, of course, once again, I hit the space bar. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. So, here we go. Real quickly, let's take a look at the time trial. I can almost certainly imagine what this is. The faster you do it, the more points you get. Oh, you have an actual countdown. Oh, that's nice. That is an actual uh, incentive. There you go. And we get a couple of bonuses there. Oh, you can get bonus time. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay. And that's actually... Uh, that adds a, a bit of a different dimension to the game. Um, actually having to compete against the clock, you can't be nearly as strategic, and uh, you can't be nearly as cowardly. You have to take some chances, or else you are never going to finish. And my invulnerability there will make me quite brazen. Oh, it, mm, it, it always encompasses the smaller portion. Um, so that was unfortunate. Wasn't quite how I planned it, but we still beat the level. So time trial, there you see the time trial. Pretty simple. Light fish. What do we think about light fish? Well, this game is one of those games. It's right there in that $5 wheelhouse. You know, it's it's in that place where this is kind of about what you would expect from this game. Uh, it seems to have a decent amount of depth. You can see the, um, the, the levels. You can see just from looking at these, the complexity that seems to grow out of these levels. You can see the, uh, the orange is lava. Uh, there's also quite a lot of enemies. If we take a look at the how to play section, uh, you can see the profile of the enemies. A lot of enemies, a lot of obstacles, ice, hunters, fast crabs. Crabs are the ones that go uh, along the outside edge. So there are a lot of enemies, there are a lot of obstacles. It seems to be a, an interesting little game. And again, like I said, I don't use little as a negative, uh, with, with a negative connotation. I just mean it is really a little game, you know. Um, Space Marine is not a little game. Deus Ex is not a little game. This is a fantastic small scale title uh, made by a, a nice little company uh, based out of Spain. And uh, I can recommend this game, you know, I can't recommend this game uh, uh, with my highest possible recommendation, but if this seems interesting to you, and if this seems like something that would give you a great deal of enjoyment, give it a try. Um, you can head over to their website, I should have that in the description below, I always link to either the game website or the developer website in the description, and I do believe there is a demo. You can also take a look at that uh, pay what you want uh, game toy cars. Uh, from Eclipse Games. So take a look at that. 
decide if Lightfish is right for you, I will rate it a four buck out of five, meaning that I certainly feel like this is worth what I paid for it. Again, it is on sale on Steam right now for 10% off, so you may want to look into that. That puts it in at a mere $4.50. So a charming little strategic puzzler here. Take a look at it, and uh, hmm, I think that's all we've got. All right, guys, this has been a quick one, but this is Lightfish, and I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.